OK, uh, a truck of mass 500 kilos is travelling on a horizontal track at a speed of 20 metres per second. It enters a tunnel and is then subject to air resistance. The magnitude of the resistance force is 40 V newtons, where V metres per, per second is the speed of the truck T seconds after entering the tunnel. There is no other force on the truck. OK, so the only force that's affecting it is the air resistance of 40 V newtons. So, first bit, show that V equals 20 e to the minus 0.08 t. OK, so we've got the only force being affected, uh, affecting the truck is that 40 V newtons working against us. So the net force is minus 40 V, and that's got to be equal to the mass, 500, times by the acceleration, which is dV by dt. So let's make this easier for ourselves by dividing both sides by 500. So minus 40 divided by 500 is minus 2 over 25. That's V is dV by dt. OK, so if I divide both sides by V, multiply both sides by dt, I can have 1 over V dV is equal to minus 2 over 25 dt, and I'm integrating both sides. So integrating the 1 over V, I get log V, and I'm going to have minus 2 over 25 t plus some constant c. So if I um, E both sides, I get V is equal to E to the minus 2 over 25 t plus c, which is a e to the minus 2 over 25 t. OK. So uh, the minus 2 over 25 here is 0 0.08. So that's then consistent with what's in the question. So 0 0.08. OK. So we know that the speed of the truck uh, initially is 20 metres per second. So if when t is 0, v is 20, 20 is equal to a, e to the 0, and so a is 20. So v is 20, e to the minus 0.08t, as required. So that's part a. Now as for part b, show that x equals 250 times 1 minus e to the minus 0.08t. The velocity is the difference in the displacement over time, the change in displacement over time. So that would be dx by dt is 20e to the minus 0.08t. Now you could either multiply both sides by dt and do separation of variables, or because this is in terms of t, I can just integrate both sides. Okay? So I'm going to get x equals... Now I've got to uh, divide by the minus 0 0.08, so 20 over minus 0 0.08 uh, e to the minus 0 0.08 t, okay, uh, plus some constant of integration, so let's call it b, okay. Now 20 divided by minus 0 0.08 is minus 250. So x is equal to b, take 250e to the minus 0.08t. OK, so it's looking reasonable. So what do I know? Well, um, I know that the displacement initially is 0. So um, when t is 0, x is 0. So we've got 0 is equal to b, take away 250 e to the 0. So that means that b is 250. So x is 250, take 250e to the minus 0.08t, and I can factor the 250 out of a bracket. And I have precisely what I was asked to find in part b. So to answer part c, describe what happens to the speed and distance of travelled as t increases, well, as t gets larger and larger and larger, e to the minus 0.08t gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. OK? So actually, you're getting a times something that's going towards 0. 
So that means that as time increases, the velocity is decreasing to zero, or towards zero. As for the displacement, um, or the distance in this case, uh, well, as t increases, the e to the minus 0.08t decreases to zero. And so x will get closer and closer and closer to 250 lots of 1. So as time increases, the truck is slowing down to zero, to rest. Um, and it's getting closer and closer and closer to reaching 250 metres.